Hey, the Breakmaster here, and this is gonna be my Blade Anime episode 10 review. And this episode was freaking amazing. That's what I, I can say that right now. That was a that was a great episode. I I don't know. I just just wow. <laughs> so basically, this episode starts off with um Blade being captured. He's you know he's been captured by Deacon Frost. So you know they're taking him back, and he was in this facility all hung up and stuff. And it's like, what do you want to do with me and stuff? And he, he he was he finally woke up. So um. Um, Decon Frost ends up talking to Blade, and then we actually get to see um, Decon Frost's um, backstory to why he's like this and why, what he what he wants to do with existence, and all, I mean all, everything basically explained in this episode, which I like because they explained they just they didn't they didn't put no loopholes in this. They just explained everything that was going on. So basically, the reason why Decon Frost is like this, he had a son named Edgar, and Edgar was like his you know only his, his only son and you know only family relative I guess at this point because his mother because you know his wife died for some for some reason. I don't know. I'm not sure, but he died, and he's only, he only only has him now. So, you know, he was he's like he's pride and joy and crap like that. So, you know, his son was you know, making food for him, and you know they're talking, and basically he wants to be just like his dad in some way to help his help his father with his research and stuff like that, and that made him happy. And he's just like you know, it's something that was really good. And then his son ends up graduating and stuff, and actually. Be, being in the highest class of staying like he has such a great future ahead of him and you know Frost is like I'm so proud of you son Edgar Frost and stuff so he was really proud of him and you know he was just like he has so much future ahead of him and then boom he comes home one night and he's and his son is on the ground and he's like oh my god Edgar Edgar <laughs> and stuff and and he had bite marks on his neck so a vampire got him and he was like he knew something was wrong so he ended up going to the police and trying to see if they'll you know help him with his research and see what's going on but the cops didn't want to do that because they're part of this you know like the vampire group so they didn't want to do that for him and you know they kept making him seem like he's crazy like you know just need to go home and he had he had like all these notes and he knew vampires are doing this and that's why the vampires are working and me like he, and he knew that the these people these humans are working with the vampire and he's like I know you're working with them. Why are you doing this? Like, man, you, what are you talking about? The police guy's like, what are you talking about? We're not doing anything. You're, you're going crazy, man. And then people outside are like, wow, this person's so crazy. I can't believe he's just, he, he still hasn't given up on his son, you know, being dead and trying to figure out this little thing. Like, oh, vampires aren't real. Ha ha ha. And making him feel really bad. So he's like, going crazy. He's just, he's just going more and more crazy. So he ended up getting um, vampire hunters to start hunting down vampires. So he ended up finding the vampire. He ends up sticking this thing to get some of his blood. And he was doing something with the blood while the vampire hunters were still holding up. Well, they were, well, they were holding on to the vampire. They were killing the vampire, and then they were standing there like, "Yes, your research is gonna be able to um make, t turn these vamp these um vampires back into humans." I, I like this. You know, you, you, you can do this. But his, his research wasn't supposed to do that. His research was to make himself a vampire to be able to have some strength so he can fight against the vampires because he wants for, he wants revenge on the vampire that killed his son and all the humans that are associated with that vamp with those vampires so he ends up testing that blood sample that he got from the vampire that, that he just you know stabbed with and put it into the vampire hunters and see what happens one of the vampire hunters you know, they're both end up growing and one of them is exploding the other one dies just instantly just something like, like lays down and says dies and it's just like you know he doesn't know what to do then he's like well we're just gonna go from there and so one day he ends up actually making the serum and actually put he puts it inside himself because he had no more tough test, test subjects and so he ends up making himself a vampire and he's like <laughs> yeah. going crazy like, I'm going to take revenge on your vampires <laughs> yeah. so he was being crazy and so he that's basically what his story is and Blaze like so you 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 killed all these people and all this stuff just to come so for revenge for yourself I mean it's like very selfish of you and all that stuff and Blade's like, and um, Deacon Frost's like, nothing you say is going to change me or anything like that. And so Blade asks one, one question, why did you kill my mother? And he's like, you, why did I kill that filthy prostitute? Huh, I was just hungry. And he's like, <laughs> he's like, he was, going, he was going mad. I mean, he's still, he's still a prostitute. I mean, he was. I mean, it's just like, oh, you don't want to hear that, though. You know, it's just, it's just making him go off edge. He's like, you son of a bitch. <laughs> I'm like, okay. This is he was just going really mad and then he ends up like shocking him and basically wants what he wants to resist he wants to rule the world. He wants to you know, rule the vampires and rule the humans. He just wants to do everything now. He's just like I say he's just he's, he's out of control now. He didn't he doesn't even have a purpose anymore. He's just I mean he just wants to rule everything at this point because, you know, 
it, it's just, he's just, he's just gone off, he's gone off the deep end at this point. He's just he's so crazy. But then, um, Makoto ends up coming and trying to save Blade, and Deacon Frost hears about this, and Deacon Frost's like, hmm, I got a plan for her. And Blade's like, no, don't you do it. You know, because his plan, he's gonna, he's gonna do the same thing he did with his mother. So he's like, he already knows this. So he's like, no. And so, so you know, Makoto's going in there, doing, be, beasting all those vampires, by the way. She's destroying them all. And end up facing against these other vampires that turn themselves into lions. And she actually defeated both of them. So that's very impressive for Makoto. I didn't think she could do that. So, I mean, that's very impressive. So she got in there, and she's like, Blade. And Blade's all knocked out because he got shocked. And, you know, Blade ends up waking up. He's like, Mah, go, do. And Deacon falls right there, right behind him, right behind her. And then I was like, I was like, no. And it already happened. He's like, bit. I was like, wow. So, I mean... What's gonna happen? Because like at the end of the episode, they end up showing Blaze crying, holding um, Makoto because she's gonna come remember. He's like, is she gonna die this episode? I mean, next episode. I mean, it's just like it's just like wow. I I I didn't expect him to. I didn't expect this honestly. I just like I didn't expect this whole backstory. I, didn't, I didn't, this episode was very unexpected unexpected to me. I really liked it. It's just like wow. So what what do you what what do you think of this episode and what do you think is gonna happen in the next episode? Like, is, is, do you think Makoto's actually gonna have to die now because she's gonna be a vampire? I mean, just leave comments below and tell me what you think. Rate if you like Blade and like my reviews, <laughs> and subscribe to my channel. You know, for more Blade awesomeness and other other videos and stuff. You know, I, I do a lot of things. <laughs> so yeah, it's been the Breakmaster, and until then, break out.